everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Inside this box is the latest wash and cure unit from Elgu. It's the Mercury X bundle. It's two separate machines, one for cleaning and the other for curing. It's gonna pair perfectly with the Elgu Mars 3, which I just recently posted a video on. If you haven't already seen that, you'll find a link here up in the video. Similar to my other videos, I am gonna be going in and jumping in and giving you my initial impressions. This is not a review video since this video is being sponsored by Elgu, but I'm gonna give you the ins and outs of what this can do and show off how you can actually clean and cure your prints. Also later in the video, I'll be showing off the other two wash and cure options that Elgu offers. So three in total that you can choose from one of those is sure to meet your cleaning needs so hopefully you saw my previous video here on the Elgu Mars 3 which is just a fantastic resin 3d printer that Elgu is now releasing alongside the Mercury X bundle here so in this video we're really gonna be talking about this but I wanted to mention that all of the prints that I showed off in that particular video I ended up cleaning here on the Mercury X units now immediately what comes to mind when looking at this is, hey, this takes up more desk space. It takes up more real estate in my workshop area when it comes to actually cleaning my resin 3D prints. And yeah, that's true. It's not one unit, but I actually prefer this and not saying that I might have recommended this uh, about a year or so ago, but I might have tossed over that idea. I'm sure others have also passed along the recommendation of setting up a, a station or at least an option for this. I love having the ability to clean prints and at the same time cure prints, not have to do all at once or wait for my curing to be done so that I can start cleaning the next set of prints. I'm now able to simultaneously just clean and cure as I'm working on projects. Looking at the wash station first, you're gonna have that same container design that you've seen with some of the other previous wash and cure stations from Elgu. It is obviously a lot larger and is gonna hold a lot more liquid with it. There's no top directly for it either. You don't need an acrylic panel to go over this. So it's just a container sitting on top of the magnetic stirring mechanism that's gonna help spin the actual blade that's inside of the uh, this, this plastic container and help agitate any of the loose resin that's on your prints. What's great about it is obviously this is gonna fit the Elgu Mars or even the Mars 3 really easily here inside of this, but it also fits the Elgu Saturn build plate, which is amazing. I know so many people that have picked up the Saturn have been asking for a larger wash and cure solution. So this fits right on the inside there and I could put any of the large prints directly in it or it comes with this little cage mechanism that I can sit in here and it's going to get stuck in place here because there's a tapered design to the container. And then I can set it on top of that metal base and it's going to let the print here from the build plate sit directly in your liquid. Or if I filled the liquid up even higher, it can help clean off my build plate if I wanted to do that as well. To power on the unit, all you have to do is press and hold the button for about two seconds there. It then starts up and you can set your desired time here in 30 second increments and then press the button again to start the procedure. and it's gonna start cleaning your prints. At any point in time, you can pause that and then hit play again for it to start back up. Or if I wanted to hit pause again, and I wanted to adjust the time, I can do that as well. So let's say I set it for three minutes, but in reality, I only needed two minutes. I can adjust that on the fly as it's cleaning here. The cure chamber works obviously very similar to the washing station here. You're just gonna now have an acrylic lid because you have these UV light bars on either corner of the actual cure station. You then have a late motorized Lazy Susan that's gonna spin around your prints and help cure them. It does have the LEDs as well on the bottom side of that and it's gonna help project up that UV light as your prints are spinning around. And that's a really cool feature that I haven't seen on any of these other cure stations so far. In order to operate it, you do need to have the lid on as well. And it's again, the same technology there. You're gonna press and hold 
And then it's just a matter of turning the knob and setting the desired time and hitting the button to start the chamber up. There's safety mechanisms built into this as well, where it will automatically stop and starts beeping like crazy there until you hit the button to stop the beeping process. You can then put the lid back on and hit the button to resume your curing. One of the best parts about this cure station is that it's operated off of one power supply. It's spliced here towards one of the ends and plugs into each end of the back of the machines so that you don't need multiple ports here to actually power the units. You're just working off of one, which is, should help with some of the real estate when it comes to outlets in your house. I should also mention that the price point on these is pretty incredible at $150. They're currently on pre-order through Elgu's website, but they should be available on Amazon here in the upcoming months. As soon as they are available, I'll have links down below in the video where you'll find links directly to Elgu's page on Amazon for this wash and cure station. Well, you might be thinking, Uncle Jesse, I don't have a Mars 3 or a Saturn and I don't need a large cleaning station like this. Well, Elgu also offers your own curing, standalone curing station, which is great for things like miniatures. This isn't gonna clean your prints. You can still clean those with your own plastic containers, manually do all those cleaning like that. But when it actually comes to curing, you can pick up one of these just, it's a straight curing station that has a UV activated rotating stand here. And it's just a really simple, really small footprint when it comes to curing your prints. And it's again, all concealed here so that none of that UV light is leaking out. Or if this is still too big of a footprint for you and you just need a wash and cure one solid unit that can do both of those, then the Mercury Plus is probably a good option for you. Again, not gonna have the large build volume or hold a full build plate from the Elgu Saturn, but a fantastic cleaning option that's all in one. So this has inside of it is the cleaning station. So you're gonna load this up with your IPA and then when you're done cleaning your prints, you remove the tray and the plastic container and then now you have your UV LED lights here that are gonna spin around when you wanna cure your prints. So there are three different options now when it comes to cleaning and curing your prints that Elgu options alongside all of their resin 3D printers. I did wanna say thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video and sending along the Mercury X wash and cure station here. I, again, the dual setup is exactly what I was looking for for a curing station and cleaning station just because I typically am printing so many different things and I don't mind sacrificing a little bit of footprint space in order to be able to wash and cure my different 3D prints. So let me know in the comments what you think about this dual wash and cure station setup versus the all-in-one combined option. Again, I am a big fan of this and was asking about it a year ago. I think when this one came out, I was like, man, I really want a dual setup and just a little bit larger. If it was just a little bit larger, I'm good to go. This easily accommodates 90% of what I'm 3D printing these days uh, that range from small to mid-sized prints. So this is it's gonna be a perfect fit for my needs personally, and hopefully it'll be well suited for your printing needs as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Thanks for this little double feature that I'm throwing out here today. And again, if you didn't already see the Mars 3 video, you'll find links here or down in the description down below. Hey, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now. I am very interested to see how they have packaged this all. Holy cow. Fantastic job by Elegu on coming up how to package this in such a small, convenient option there. Holy cow, they have really packed this in to maximize that space that they had within these units. That is, I'm just, I'm just blown away here. Just blown away.